dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I would like to quickly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you to those who have subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate you. Also, share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate you massively. The United Nations has stated that over 110 farmers were killed by the BH insurgents on Saturday night in Zabamari village, a rice farming community in Jerry local government area of Borno State. A statement by Edward Callum, the United Nations Resident Coordinator and Humanitarian Coordinator in Nigeria, said, Many were also wounded in the ruthless attack. I am outraged and horrified by the gruesome attack against civilians carried out by non-state armed groups in villages near Borno State capital, Maiduguri. At least 110 civilians were ruthlessly killed and many others were wounded in this attack. In the early afternoon of 28 November, armed men on motorcycles led a brutal attack on civilian men and women who were harvesting their fields in Koshobe and other rural communities in Jerry local government area. Reports we are receiving are indicating these innocent farmers were the victims of this callous violence. I extend my sincere condolences to the families of the civilians who lost their lives in this atrocious attack. I also wish a speedy recovery to those who were wounded in the incident. We have also received reports that several women may have been kidnapped. I call for their immediate release and safe return. My thoughts are also with the rural communities in the area who are shocked by the brutality of yesterday's attack and fear for their safety. The entire UN system and the humanitarian community working to provide life-saving and development assistance to the most vulnerable in Borno State is outraged by the incident. Such direct attacks against innocent civilians jeopardize the ability for the most vulnerable people to survive the adversity they are facing and which we are striving to alleviate. The incident is the most violent direct attack against innocent civilians this year. I call for the perpetrators of this heinous and senseless act to be brought to justice. It is unfortunate one of too many such attacks targeting farmers, fishermen, and families who are trying to recover some livelihood opportunity after over a decade of conflict. I strongly condemn this attack and any act of violence against innocent civilians. And I firmly urge all actors on the ground to respect international laws and humanity. Rural communities in Borno State are facing untold hardships. 
helping them to farm land and rebuild livelihoods are amongst our priorities. And the only way to avoid the looming food crisis in Borono State. They and all other civilians need to be protected and spared from all kind of violence. Innocent women, children and men desperately need food and other support and assistance, particularly at a time when we are recording some of the highest levels of food insecurity in Borno State. We ought to do our utmost to them to help them survive these difficult times, he stated. The governor of the state, Baba Gana Zulum, had earlier on Sunday participated in the funeral prayers for the 43 dead victims of the attack. It was reported that the victims who were rice farmers were attacked on their farms in Koshebe area of Zabamari village and murdered in cold blood. One of the local hunters who participated in a search and rescue operation said most of the farmers found dead in the rice field had their throats slit. We have recovered 43 corpses. The attackers slaughtered all of them, he said. As we speak, there is a great disquiet and mourning in our communities, the hunter said. The chairman, Rice Farmers Association in Zabamari, Malam Hassan, who corroborated the sad incident expressed dismay over the senseless and vicious killing of innocent farmers, including children. It is very sad for us that these people went to their farms to work, only to be attacked and killed in this manner. So far, we have recovered 43 corpses, including children. It is being reported that farmers were killed while harvesting their farm produce, unlike their colleagues in far-flung locations. People in communities near Meduguri have had the opportunity of cultivating their farms. Millions of people, including farmers and fishermen, had deserted their homes because of the over 11-year-old BH insurgency that has claimed thousands of lives. Governor Babaga Nazulum had since September commenced the relocation of IDPs from the state capital and other local government headquarters to their respective ancestral homes. They were among the over 2.7 million people displaced by the intractable violence. Until recently, Borno had 32 official IDP camps, with an unknown number of unofficial camps hosting a larger number of the IDPs. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected, guys, but Nigeria is really, really in a bad shape and state. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.